Hello and welcome to News Update. Three Kenyan dangerous terror convicts who escaped from a maximum security prison in Nairobi have been rearrested in eastern Kenya while trying to flee to neighboring Somalia. Mauritius's first female chief justice has been sworn in. Bibi Rehana Mungli Gulbo, 61, was appointed to head the Supreme Court by the president. Her deputy will also be a woman. Olushe Obasanjo, the Africa Union's High Representative for the Horn of Africa, and Jeffrey Feltman, the U.S. Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa, both returned to Ethiopia on Thursday to try to revive peace talks and bring about a ceasefire in the country's year-long conflict. Remittances from Egyptians working abroad rose to $2.7 billion in August, compared to $2.4 billion in the same month last year, the central bank said on Thursday. Ivory Coast coach Patrice Bumiu says FIFA is killing African football by only allowing the continent five places at the World Cup. Africa's 54 participants in qualifying are whittled down to just five places at the 32-team tournament, while Europe has 13 guaranteed places from 55 competitors and South America four from 10. Washington has removed Nigeria from its list of countries with religious freedom concerns. Three civil society groups have taken the South African government to court over plans to build 1,500 megawatts of new coal capacity. Medics say at least 15 protesters demanding a full handover to civilian authorities were shot dead by Sudanese security forces and dozens wounded on Wednesday. Gambian President Adama Barrow on Tuesday night threatened an opponent in next month's elections with legal action for playing audio recordings of exiled former leader Yaya Jami at a campaign event. And that's the news update. You can get more from TOS TV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.